In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add an interesting border effect to your picture. First step that you want to do is select the rectangular marquee tool in the toolbox. Drag over the marquee tool over your picture to create a border that you want to have this effect take place. Next, we need to invert this selection. So we'll go to the Select menu, select Inverse. So now we have the Inverse selected. We'll then create a new layer. So we'll go to the Layers menu, all the way down to the bottom to the icon for the New Layer menu. Make that selection. And then once that new layer is selected, we'll then create a layer mask right next to the Special Effects tool in the Layers panel. We'll add a layer mask to it. You won't see anything being affected at this point. So what we'll need to do to see that layer that will be um, affecting is click on to the actual image um, of layer number one, go to the edit menu, fill, and then we'll fill this with a particular color. For this example, we'll fill it with white, click OK, and we now have this border that we're going to be making a interesting effect to it. After we've uh, filled that border with white, we'll then select the layer mask again, then move up to the Filter menu and Filter Gallery. In the Filter Gallery, you'll have a whole range of different options available for you. Um, distort, Sketch, Stylize, all of these different um, strokes have uh, interesting um, parts to it. As you can see, I've had some previous um, effects that are uh, shown here. You can use the garbage can on the bottom to get rid of them. So for instance, I have this sprayed stroke here. You can then make some changes to the stroke length, for instance here, and the radius. You can make this a very interesting uh, stroke here. You can add a, an, an additional um, stroke, so you can double up some of these effects. You can even add different strokes on top of them. You can even drag these to be one on top of the other to get some different effects um, from there as well. Uh, so you can start to kind of play around with uh, some of these different types of um, effects. So I can add a stroke on top of that to kind of create more of this blending appeal. Once you're done with that, just simply click OK. And voila, you have this really interesting and engaging type of border effect to your image.